channel YR Culture T. So here today I am going to discuss you about the TCS problem, the TCS slot 2 program. The problem was converting the base 17 number to the decimal. So before going for that, let us see, I have designed my own formula for getting this. So a general number, any general number, base number can be converted to the decimal, like whether it may be a base 16, base 8, base 2, like a binary to a decimal or octal to a decimal decimal or hexadecimal or 17 base or 18 base whatever is there so let us see first this is a standard conventional way of getting this doing this like we are starting from the unit place 10th place and 100th place like for example if I'm converting the hexadecimal to decimal I have to multiply by 16 depending upon the position of the number has 6 is a unit place 16 plus 16 raised to 0 plus 6 as 4 is in the 10th place 16 plus to 1 plus 4 and last is 100 place 16 plus to 2 plus 1 instead of going from left to right like the most significant number to the uh, least, uh, least significant number to the most significant number here we are going from the reverse way and the formula which I am going to use is result is equal to result into base number plus number this base number is the number which you are converting like a base 16 or base 17 or base 8 or 2 decimal whatever is there and this number is a number which is available like example in 146 the number can be 1 the number can be 4 the number can be 6 here you can see the example the value of this is 326 the result of this 146 is a hexadecimal and 326 is a decimal number the same way see how I solved this using this formula initially the result is 0 so 0 into base number is 16 plus 1 1 is the most significant bit number 1 so 1 the result will be 1 next time the result will be replaced here 1 plus 16 1 into 16 16 plus 4 20 and the result will be available and next the 20 into 16 it becomes 320 and plus 6 has taken and we get the 326 so using this formula we can convert any base to the decimal number and that is how this logic is utilized now we'll solve the problem i'll show you how this to, to solve this in the c program we'll start here let us start here let us start with the programming now here i have taken a TCS slot 2 program converting a base 17 or any base to the decimal number by our formula result is equal to result into base number plus number okay now let us start initially take the input as a input character of max 20 the result will be available in the integer okay and base number now I want to convert a decimal, a hexadecimal number 16. Uh, if you want to convert 17, you can take the 17 base. Okay. And result will be available there. Okay. Now let us first scan the value which is in the string. I have taken the input from the user. And for each character, that is a number, each number, I want to do some operation. So for i0 input of i is not equal to slash 0 navigating the string from start to the end and here is what i want to use the formula um, what formula i want to use it for result we have taken already result result is equal to result into base number plus number number now this number will be the number from the input string so that is the input i now this input i is a character so we need to convert it to the appropriate uh, integer value so in c language uh, if you typecast it by using the ascii value this ascii value of 0 is 48 something so i need to minus it 48 this is where I am going to get the ASCII value of see here, right here ASCII value of 
zero is forty eight. Okay, so the character will get connected to integer, and that result we are going to get it. So I'll write here printf person d result here. Okay, uh, this is what I result I got it. So I'll just run it. For example, the ten value. If I write a ten, the ten value is in the hexadecimal. And the equivalent uh, decimal number will be 16. This is the correct answer. And similarly, once more, I'll run it. For example, 12 number in hexadecimal. If I say that 16, that is 16 plus 2, 18 number should be there. And this is the 18 answer which is available here. Okay. Now, but if you see that in hexadecimal number or in more than 10 number, what used to be there after 9, the 1 0 10 instead of that a we are using it so hexadecimal starts from 0 to and ends at f that f value is a 15 so i want to get a value of a b c d until f first for this particular things and if it is more than hexadecimal number then that f g h whatever so so on. so i'll try to get that all the character base also here for example if input value is greater than equal to the ASCII value of A the ASCII value of A is 97 or directly you can write here A and input value of I is less than equal to for for example uh, ASCII value of Z like you can write like this or you can write this with 122 okay which is known to me now what you want to do is if this values that a and these values are available that needs to be converted okay for example if a is there that a is the number what is the number that a number should be 10 if b is there it should be 11 if c is there this is what we want to follow it okay okay now this ascii value of a ascii value of z in between the number if it is available then that is a character numbers character numbers if it is available then appropriate number should be there for example in hexadecimal if i take and write this first okay in hexadecimal if i take it a value a value equivalent is 10 number now if such numbers character numbers are available valid character numbers are available then what you have to do is for example here this what i'll do i'll write this here the same formula result will be result equal now this result will result into base number plus input now input number is not a 0 or 1 2 3 4 these are the characters so this for loop is for when character data is available data is available example is like a b c d if in hexadecimal it goes up to f if it is 17 base 18 base f g h it goes on continue now in the else part this will be there when numbers number is there means other than this a to z numbers are there okay in the else part we're going to do it. now how to convert this now what is ascii value of a you can write minus a here ascii value of a or the ascii value of a is small a is 97 and considering only a small values here so input minus input i minus 97 ascii value so if a number is there it becomes zero both are same 97 but what i want whenever a is there plus 10 so the a itself indicates a 10 value if b is there b minus 97 will be 1 10 plus 1 11 so b value is 11 so this will continue it now if i see this if i get our if I run this, I'll build this build and run. Okay, some error. error what error? I value is not declared here. So I'll declare the I value integer I. Okay. Now see here one zero. The number one zero will be sixteen. I got a sixteen number. I'll rerun it again if i take a 12 number 16 plus 2 it should be 18 i got 18 now i'll run again here 
I'll type only A, A means after 9, A comes. Okay, so it's something wrong here. But I'll take the hexadecimal number and save it. I'll try to build it and run it again. So A value, I got a 10, 10 correctly. If I go for B, I get 11. If I get 2, 0, 2, 0 means it goes to 32, correct? This is how we got it. Now I'll make it a base 17. Now when I make a base 17, see if I run here with the 1, 0 value, okay? 1, 0, I got 16, okay? Base 17 means I get 16, correct? And if I go for for example if I type 1 1 I get 70 number okay and if I get for example uh, F G G I'll type G I get a 60 number this is the converting the base 17 to the decimal number hope you might have enjoyed this and if any problem you can ask thank you